Hello there. You strike an imposing figure, friend. And you look like you might not be shy about using it to make a little coin, yes? I've got a little problem, and I think the answer just stepped onto this balcony. The boss offers certain uh, services here in Woodhar. As expected, such services are not free. One called Manthir owes the boss a cut of his profits, but is holding out now that his payment is due. This one means to collect, one way or the other. Only certain kinds of people profit from war. Mantir has benefited particularly, even as we are spread thin. In such times, we often employ outsiders. Collect the payment from Mantir, and the cut of it is yours. Simple, yes? Excellent. Manthir often peddles his wares here, but right now he is likely at his home just across the market to the east. Look for him there to start. And don't worry, Manthir is a soft one. <laughs> well? What is it? Quite busy at the moment, sorry. I'll be lucky if this hall allows me to keep myself fed, much less pay off my debts. Please, leave me to my work. Ah, oh, not this again. Look, run along and tell those flea-bitten cats that I'll have their coin as soon as possible. It isn't my fault that damn clever farwin nicked it right out from under my nose. Yes, yes, no need to rub it in. I don't know how she managed it, but she must be quite skilled. Too bad she doesn't understand what a mess she's landed me in now with a fat cat and his pets. Er, uh, I mean the majestic Bashira and his cohort. You can try. I don't think it'll do any good. Right, a theft and all that. <laughs> the act was artfully done. Right in front of my eyes, and yet I had no idea. By right, she owns my property until she makes a demand to me in return and I agree to a price for the return of what was stolen. Ah, oh, good. I look forward to our next meeting. forward coming into my home in such a manner? Something you need? Manthea's in trouble with the fat cat? I didn't know that. Well, he can have it back all right, but by right of theft I demand something in return. I can't believe he hasn't come to ask me himself yet. Easy. I just want him to marry me. Divines know. He's avoided me long enough. Of course. I hoped he'd come to me, but then he always was a hard-headed one. Let's go. Oh, how exciting. I wonder if I should have washed my hair first. Nah. Hello again, Manthea. Fine day this, don't you think? Yes, yes, let's get on with it. Make your demand, Farwin. 
Surely you know by now? I want us to be married. I will return the coin I stole in exchange. I thought as much. So I must marry you or be gutted by the fat cat's thugs. Ugh, very well. I, Manthir, acknowledge that you, Farwin, rightfully stole my coin, and in exchange for its return, I agree to marry you. <gasps> I'm so happy you feel the same way. Wait till I tell Mother the news. The rest of our hair will fall out. Well, I hope you're happy. What's the phrase? Out of the kettle and into oblivion? Shackled for life to Farwin. I wouldn't overstate things. But here is the gold I owe. Take it back to those mangy cats and tell them I have no more need of their services. My ledger's clear, yeah? What is it? You return, and with the gold, yes? We'll see about that. But you have done as was asked and will have your gold as we agreed. The noble Bashira appreciates your service and your discretion. That is all for now. If we have need of you in the future, do not doubt this one will find you.